Great day ahead, goal achievers. Today, let's dive deep into the incredible power within each of us to push beyond the ordinary, to strive for the extraordinary. Think about those pivotal moments where the choices we make, big or small, mold the very fabric of who we are. I'm not talking about the simple decisions like what to have for breakfast, I'm delving into those tough choices that make us uneasy, forcing us out of our cozy comfort zones. We've all been there, facing decisions that scare us, making us want to procrastinate. It's so easy to say, I'll do it later, but as we all know, later often never arrives. The magic happens when we take action, pushing ourselves beyond what's comfortable. It's not just about possessing knowledge or talent, it's about utilizing what we've got. It's akin to having a library of books but never opening them. So, how do we tap into this power? How do we motivate ourselves to act, especially when it's challenging? That's the journey we're embarking on today, understanding the why behind our actions, even when it's uncomfortable. Now, let's talk about the universal struggle of putting things off and succumbing to laziness. These aren't just minor inconveniences, they are like thieves stealing precious moments from our lives. They sneak up on us, whispering promises of doing it later, and before we know it, later never comes. It's akin to sinking in quicksand, the more we delay, the deeper we get. But here's the good news, just as we can fall into this cycle, we can break free from it. The key? Immediate, deliberate action, the antidote to procrastination and the nemesis of laziness. I understand that starting is hard, that initial push can be the toughest part. However, every journey, no matter how monumental, begins with a single step. It's about taking that small, initial step, not a giant leap. The magic lies in the momentum you create once you begin, much like pushing a car. The first push takes all your strength, but once it starts rolling, it gets easier. So, how do we start? First, set clear, achievable goals that excite and ignite a fire within you. When your goals are crystal clear, procrastination loses its grip. Break these goals into smaller, manageable tasks, make them so small that they seem almost silly not to do. Trick your mind by making tasks seem so easy that procrastination can't find a way in. And when it comes to laziness, it thrives in the absence of a strong why. You need a why that's so powerful, so compelling that it pulls you out of the comfort of inaction, a beacon guiding you through the fog of laziness, reminding you of the bigger picture, the reason you're doing what you're doing. But remember, it's not just about external goals, it's also about respecting yourself. Every time you overcome procrastination, choosing action over inaction, you're building self-respect. You're saying to yourself, I am worth the effort. My dreams are worth the effort. And there's no feeling quite like looking in the mirror and knowing you've kept a promise to yourself, the kind of self-respect that builds empires and changes lives. Now, let's dive into the importance of positive habits in our journey of personal growth. Habits are like the threads in a tapestry, individually, they might seem small, but together, they create the beautiful picture of our lives. The quality of our habits determines the quality of that picture. How many of our days are spent on autopilot, going through routines without even thinking? Now, imagine if those routines were all designed to push you towards your goals, that's the power of intentional habit formation. So, how do we form good habits? It starts with awareness. Become a keen observer of your own life. Ask yourself, what are my current habits? Are they serving me or holding me back? This self-awareness is the first step towards meaningful change. Once you've identified the habits you need to change, start small. Too often, we try to overhaul our lives overnight, but that's like trying to lift a weight that's too heavy for us, it's unsustainable. Start with small, manageable changes. Want to exercise more? Start with a 10-minute walk each day, not an hour at the gym. Small successes build momentum, and momentum leads to more significant successes. Forming new habits isn't just about doing, it's also about unlearning. It's about breaking the chains of old, unproductive habits. This is where discipline comes in, the same discipline we discussed earlier. 
It's about making choices that align with your new goals, even when it's uncomfortable. Remember, comfort is often the enemy of growth. And speaking of growth, let's not forget the role of consistency, the secret ingredient in habit formation. It's not what we do once in a while that shapes our lives, but what we do consistently. This might mean making small sacrifices, like waking up earlier or turning off the TV to focus on a project. These sacrifices might seem significant in the moment, but in the grand scheme of things, they're the price of success. Forming new habits isn't just a solo journey, surround yourself with people who embody the habits you want to adopt. We're social creatures heavily influenced by those around us. If you're surrounded by disciplined, focused individuals, it's much easier to adopt those traits yourself. And remember, habits don't just impact our actions, they shape our identity. Every time you practice a good habit, you're telling yourself, this is who I am. You're building an identity as someone who takes action, values discipline, and strives for excellence. But let's be honest, change is hard, old habits die hard. There will be days when you falter, when the old ways beckon. In those moments, it's crucial to remember why you started. Reflect on your goals, your dreams, your vision for your life. Remind yourself that every habit, no matter how small, is a step towards that vision. And when you do slip up, don't beat yourself up. Growth is not a linear journey, it's a series of ups and downs, successes, and setbacks. What matters is not that you stumbled, but that you have the courage to get back up each time. Each setback is an opportunity to learn, to grow, to become even stronger. As we wrap up this part of our discussion, hold on to the thought that your habits are shaping your future right now. The choices you make, the routines you follow, they're writing the story of your life. Let's write a story of success, of growth, of becoming the best version of ourselves. With the right habits, there's no limit to what we can achieve. Let's continue to build those habits, step by step, day by day, until they lead us to the life we've always dreamed of. Now, let's shift our focus to routines, those small habits we do every day without even thinking about them. While they might seem inconsequential, together, they shape our lives. Imagine if every routine you had was designed to propel you towards your goals, that's the magic of intentional habit formation. So, how do we build good habits within our daily routines? It starts with paying attention to what we're already doing. Take a moment to reflect on your current habits, do they help or hinder your progress? Once you identify areas that need change, start small. Don't attempt to overhaul everything at once, small steps lead to significant changes. Breaking old habits is just as crucial as forming new ones, and it takes discipline to make choices that align with your goals, even when it's uncomfortable. Discomfort is where growth happens, and consistency is the key. It's not what we do once in a while that matters but what we do consistently. Stick to your new habits even when the going gets tough. Consider your environment, surround yourself with people and things that support your goals. Habits take time to form, so be patient with yourself. Celebrate your progress, no matter how small, and when you stumble, don't give up. Learn from it and keep moving forward. With time and effort, your habits will lead you to the life you've always dreamed of. Now, before we conclude, take a moment to reflect on your own life. Leave a comment above describing what you want in life now. Your goals, your dreams, let's start this journey together and support each other in achieving the extraordinary. Remember, you have the power within you to push beyond what's normal, to make choices that shape your destiny. Let's build a future filled with success, growth, and the fulfillment of our deepest desires. Before Discipline go, is not just about hard work, that it's about like smart button. work prioritizing tasks, to this channel, focusing on what's truly important, so miss and making the most of your time and resources. This shows YouTube Be consistent you in your efforts, unwavering in your commitment, and, it helps and disciplined us spread the in your approach. Sharing now, is caring. let's talk about the power of 